All right, so this is what we want today, the Neil Thorpe Trail. This is the namesake of a Montclair woman born in 1920 who worked to establish the Schuylkill Canal Association. Uh, she wanted to help protect the canal and uh, the property, you know, on either side of it. Uh, at some point it had fallen into disrepair after the they stopped using the canal. So she uh, helped take care of that and now they've named this trail after her. So we're going to follow this little tributary. We're going to basically go into two canyons here and explore. There's supposed to be a lot of cascades, uh, mini waterfalls. Uh, this was... I saw an article posted somewhere. I'll try and find it and link it below. Uh, about how this is one of the hidden gems here in Pennsylvania, this trail. And uh, funny story, I was planning my week on Monday, Monday morning. I knew I wanted to hike Tuesday and Thursday. So Tuesday I was going to come here. Monday night I was on Instagram and uh, I was checking out Lancaster County Day Hikes. Really good Instagram account, Facebook, uh, blog kind of thing about local hikes. Uh, and. Uh, Kristen kind of reported she was actually here this past weekend and reported that uh, it's not that great, you know, so it was drier then. So messaged her, asked about it, and uh, I figured I'd do it anyway because it did rain all day a lot on Monday. So I figured that would recharge everything. Although my plans then changed. I started driving on Tuesday with the intent of coming here and realized, you know, I was gonna hit the turnpike. I realized that the easy pass was in the other car. So I did my Thursday hikes on Tuesday. That was the um, Spring Lawn Trail at Big Elk Creek State Park and pushed this one off till today. So it hasn't rained since, so I don't know if my waterfall recharge theory will work. But this little canyon actually looks pretty beautiful right now. So we're going to go and see what we can find. A lot of big trees here, rock outcroppings. Look at this guy showing his roots off. So yeah walking back here into this gorge and yeah this tributary doesn't look too deep or anything but uh i hear some trickling some gurgling if you will and we'll uh we'll see what we can find
so far this trail, I'm very happy with it. Uh, there are a lot of cascades, little mini waterfalls, you know, I've been trying to get close to them so they look huge, but, um, you know, this is great. It's a little natural gorge and it's uh, in a fairly urban suburban area. So just outside of Phoenixville, I mean, we're, I was just on Bridge Street. Two seconds later, I'm on Towpath Road and we're here. I don't hear any traffic or any of that stuff. So this is fantastic. The trail is actually up there, but you know, I am uh, just meandering here along the water. You can kind of use these steps to walk along the water the whole time. Just be super careful. It is wet and uh, there are leaves all over the place. So it is very wet and slippery. I have uh, almost gone down a few times here, but uh, just taking it slow and appreciating this. This is really nice. what's going on with the mossy grass kind of flowing under the water but <laughs> looks like uh chicago river on st patrick's day or something it looks like it's dyed green but it's uh yeah it's like a grass all right i'm sure this water is ice freaking cold but i'm gonna just wow brave it here to see what we're dealing with My God, it feels like hair. It seriously just feels like wet hair. And it's all down here. All right, so that little trickle right there is the last one here before, well, the stream's coming down here, but we're gonna hop up this way on the, uh, Neil Thorpe Trail still. Little stream crossing there, no problem. But that was only one of the two gorges. So we're gonna go on the trail here. We're gonna kind of climb up and over and then drop into the second one. And I think we'll walk downstream on that one. We walked upstream here. I think we'll walk downstream on the other one and hopefully get some good views there too. I'm having fun, just uh, hopping rock to rock here and everything. One last look upstream there. I think there's some paths there too. You could probably go upstream a little more, but I think this is our, our goal today. Whew, that's a steep little climb out of there. You can see the stream down there and, and look at this gorge. Gorgeous. <laughs> Gonna ride that joke forever. So up here between the two gorges, uh, it's blustery. It's windy today and I'm feeling it up here. There's a lot of trees uprooted. You can tell this area is very exposed uh, to the elements here. Look at all this twisted wood. This tree is huge. My goodness. Get me in here for perspective, but I mean, this is, this is a monster. Yeah, I'm six foot one. What a giant. Another monster down here, walking the trail. Crazy. 
Yeah, it's very exposed, man. Must get a lot of blowdown. So now we're up above that Black Rock Dam on the uh, Schuylkill River. If I have time today, over in here is the Black Rock Preserve. I might try and get that in too while I'm here. So you walk on the ridge here above the Schuylkill for a little bit, uh, north of the Black Rock Dam. And it's so peaceful and so secluded and you feel, you know, awesome. There was a view of Phoenixville back there a little bit, you know, you could see the town, but it really feels isolated up here. And then the trail, <laughs> looks like we're gonna go through a neighborhood <laughs> for stuff here. <laughs> it was just absolutely open. And then boom, houses, suburbia. All right, so we're dropping down into the second gorge here. Not sure if I hear water or not. Not sure this is gonna be as spectacular as this first Cascades and, and that stream was. Uh, if you love things like that, Cascades, waterfalls, it's my favorite. I don't know, man, something about the water, it calls me, but um, yeah, I love filming that, bringing it to you guys. So if you love it, please like this video, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications and watch some videos. I've got like 300 videos now in three years. That is insane. But if you love it, check it out and watch. Let's drop it down into the second gorge and see what we find. Second gorge starting off looking good. A little triple cascade there. freeze frame. This is the last normal footage before I lose my footing and completely fall in the stream. Enjoy! I actually caught this one on video. Yeah. <laughs> Finally happened! <laughs> Finally happened. Haha, <laughs> full soakers. God. Ah. Ah, uh, now it's all cloudy. Well, there you go. The moment you've been waiting for finally happened. I finally captured one on film, but man, look at this. Both feet up to about mid-shin. <laughs> I'm alright, but man, this trail is really slippery. It's so worth it to get things like this. But yeah, I was filming down in there with that clear water, crystal clear water. Now it's definitely not crystal clear. This is my big size 13s. Both took a dunk in there, so... It was bound to happen, so there it was. <laughs> So here along the Schuylkill River, we're going to, we're out of the gorge there, we're going to take the flat uh, paved uh, Schuylkill East Trail uh, back to Lock 60 and wrap it up from there. Uh, I've got two fresh soakers here, so I was thinking about calling it a day, but I think I am going to head over here to Black Rock Sanctuary and film there. Figure I might as well, might as well dry them out keep my feet warm and moving um yeah so i think i'm headed over there so thanks for watching thanks for coming along 
Look at these views just outside of Phoenixville. We'll see you next time.